Hello Aquarius, this is your reading for the 28th through the 29th. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, and um, thank you guys for coming. Please show me messages for Aquarius in love. Aquarius, please show me. The Empress, a lot of you guys are working on yourselves here. Um, you could have a, a mother figure involved in your life that is, um, that I'm feeling like there's something that you're wanting to make right here. There's something that you're wanting to set straight. And you don't really know how to do it. You don't know how to do it here. Hmm. You don't know what to think about this situation. All you know is that, you know, you want to be happy. You want to be, you want to have a happy home. You want to have a happy home uh, life situation here. Some of you guys, you know, you've been doing a lot of work on yourself. And you kind of go back and forth about if you want to remain single some of you are single parents whether or not you want to remain single or whether you want to actually get into a relationship okay and the six of pentacles All you know is that if you are to get in a relationship, then it needs to be one that is um, has reciprocity, okay? Transparency, where both of you are in it to win it, doing what it takes to grow a connection here. And then for those of you who you know, you're trying to, if you have a parent that you have not been getting along with or there's like a rift, um, it's like you're, you're at your wit's end, I feel. You don't know how to make this situation right. You don't know how to um, really get things to a spot where Everything's good. Everything's happy. Everybody gets along. Please show me more about the Empress. Please show me more about the Empress. The star. I feel that somebody here is in the limelight. Um, that they almost seem untouchable, okay? They almost seem untouchable here. Whether it's you or um, the, another individual. Then we have the High Priestess. There's a lot that you guys are not talking about here, okay? There's a lot that you keep to yourself. Let me lay some more cards here. Because there's like two storylines going on here. Okay. Please show me more about the Four of Wands. The Eight of Pentacles. A lot of you guys are wanting to rebuild a connection with a parent where I feel communication is not is, is key here but it's not been present a lot of you don't know how to reach this parent there's a lot that I feel like you hold inside that you have not discussed And the King of Cups there. Uh, 
what I'm getting here for the situation with the parent is that you know this person is almost like this parent is almost like you don't feel free to say what it is that you want to say that they are almost like untouchable or there's a level not really of intimidation but a level of you know I don't know how to engage with this individual maybe you do feel like they sit on their high horse and will not be receptive to what you guys say that they won't want to work on it like they have their mind already um, made up about a situation here and they're not going to give in okay that's for the parent situation now for those of you who feel like you know the only relationship that you will allow yourself to get involved in is one where you have reciprocity I do feel like you guys have healed a lot here okay you've healed a lot and there's a lot that you know that you don't speak of okay you want one a relationship where you know it will become the ten of pentacles you don't want something flighty you don't want somebody that's not all in that just wants to date around for the sake of dating okay you want somebody that's emotionally stable that's gonna give you what you give them in this situation because you've grown a lot you guys are wanting to start over okay what energy is coming towards Aquarius? What energy is coming towards Aquarius? What energy is coming towards Aquarius? The Page of Cups. I feel like there's a lot that you guys are realizing here. Not only about other people, but about yourselves. And, and you're leaving that level of confusion, I feel, behind. Okay, I don't feel like you guys, you know, this is the Seven of Cups here. I don't feel like, um, you know, you want to just leave your options open or you feel like you can get this one, you can get that one, um, that you want all these different things. I feel like you only want a relationship or a situation where you can grow that connection to a, a very committed relationship. Okay. You're not wanting, you know, this, that, and everything around you. You only want that one thing that you that you feel like you deserve, okay? For sure. I'm trying to get those cards in the frame here. Hmm. Why is this happening for Aquarius? The Eight of Cups. Hmm. Somebody's walking away from something that does not fulfill them emotionally. Okay. Want to leave that energy behind. What else do we have here? And the King of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm feeling you guys not wanting to... Um, you know, be involved with people who are only... What is that? Where is that coming from? That little flying bug. Um, you want something very stable. You don't want somebody that's, 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 you know, that sits on their high horse who feels like their shit don't stink, okay? You want somebody that's very supportive. I feel like... You have two people around you. I feel like a Scorpio and I feel like a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn individual. Walking away from one and going towards another. 
I'm feeling like there's somebody that you guys have your eye on or either there is a situation that I feel like you guys are going towards. And what I mean by that is that there's definitely somebody I feel like that's already in your energy that probably that probably wants something with you. This person I feel like it's maybe a lazy boyfriend, girlfriend. Um, they say they care about you, they say they love you, but they don't really exhibit the actions that support how they say they feel. And I feel like that does not work for you, okay? You want somebody that's going to stand up and take some action, okay? That really shows you that they want commitment. It's like, do not talk about it. Let's be about it, okay? And that's what I'm feeling from you guys here. And you're not going to accept anything less than that, okay? You're walking away from the confusion. You want somebody that actually wants to show you here with these pinnacles. Show and prove. And you're walking away from this confusion. Alright guys, so that's what I have for you. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon.